<laughs> oh man. So, welcome back to Lightwave Guru part 2 from uh, behind the scene, behind that scene. And I talk now a little bit ding Dinglish. And Dinglish is a mix from German and English. Yes. So yesterday, John, uh, tell me, okay, tell me something about or talk uh, uh, a little bit about the lighting in that scene. And uh, I think to myself, okay, if I talk about the lighting, I must also talk about the surfacing. And the reason is the light play with the surfaces and the surfaces play with the light. And that's the reason in the end, if you have a good lighting and a good surfacing, that you can create, uh, yes, a good output. So, now a little bit in German. John, also, die, das Geheimnis dieser, Zien, dieser Szene ist, ähm, dass da über Light Transmission Maps drin sind. Das heißt, alle Blätter in den Bäumen und auch alle Pflanzen leiten das Licht weiter. So wie es ja in der echten Natur auch ist. Die Blätter sind ja äh, quasi äh, nicht, äh, also die haben ja eine Transparenz, ja. Und deshalb... Äh, werden, wird da das Licht weitergeleitet. Das sieht man zum Beispiel hier, wenn das Licht so reinfällt. Und je nach Raytrace-Tiefe trägt er sich dann da durch. So, now in English, one of the secrets in that scene is that uh, all leaves um, uh, from the trees or all other parts here is created with a light transmission map. And that means if you use the PT kernel in Octane, you can create real physics uh, uh, leaves. Yes? I show now the note, for example, that's the note I built for that, that's a light transmission note. You see here a diffuse material, a material mixer and a glossy material. And in the diffuse material here, I uh, embedded a light transmission map. That's from principle, uh, not the a, not a alpha map, it's a black and white map with uh, it's the same map as a color map uh, but only in uh, black and white yes and then you put it in uh, the transmission tab here yes and if you do that you can play with a uh, with a with the power of that and i play in that in that uh, case With a, with, a, with a color, with a um, copy of, of the color. And the reason is uh, if a green uh, leaf transmit light, it's, it's green, it's not white yet. So, but I have with that here the, the chance to have the full control over the transmission, light transmission, yes, from the leaf. And I can uh, control it over that map. And What I have only to do is here in that map to play with the gamma. And if I change the gamma, I change the light transmission uh, power from that, from that leaf. So, and that's, that, I, uh, that uh, note I built for all leaves and all plants. And that's the reason if you go close up, we go more close up for example here. Hey, what is faster, faster, faster. Yeah, you can panning in, in Octane with the mouse. And I zoom in now a little bit and search for some leaves that we, that we see it close up. And then we let it render a little bit and then you can see that uh, here. We need a little bit more. Uh, we go close up to that Part. <clears throat> so, and then you can see that the light go in of a leaf and go out and go to the next leaf and bap, 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 cascade, yes? John, also es geht in der Kaskade durch und schwächt sich immer mehr ab, je nachdem wie die Lichtstärke ist des Lichts und genau das passiert ja in der Natur auch und ich bin dafür extra in den Wald gerannt um mir das mal anzuschauen, wie das eigentlich in real aussieht, um das so halbwegs äh, physikalisch nachzuahmen. Ja? Und das ist jetzt natürlich dann so frei Auge nachgeschoben. Also es ist jetzt nicht mit, äh, irgendwelchen, mit irgendwelchen Spektrokopen hier ausgemessen, aber 
so ungefähr, ja. So, now in English, I go uh, to a, a German forest and take a look what the sun do with the leaves in the reality. Yes? And that's the reason I built in the end the light transmission map that every leaf uh, let uh, the light in and also a little bit from the light out to the next leaf. And then you have here a, a good light ramp in the, in, in the tree. Yes? It go in in the tree and it go darker and darker and darker. And uh, another secret is that you must use for that the PT kernel, yes, the pest tracing kernel from Lightwave, that kernel here. And in that kernel, you have to check out uh, how many depth you need, how many rays depth that you become that effect, yes. And that scene is rendered with 24 max, uh, max diffuse depth and with 24 max glossy depth. That's the reason that the render needs so long. If I uh, bring it down to 4, I have uh, nearly the same look, but uh, it's not so real, yes. But the render time is much more faster. So I go up with that, and if you uh, go more up with that to 4, 8 or whatever, more, you bring it up, uh, it will uh, trace more rays in the, in the leaves and you have uh, yes, more, light, uh, more light transmission. Yes? So, now we talk, uh, uh, we talk a little bit about the lighting. The lighting is a, a mix from the normal daylight as a environment here, the daylight environment. And in the texture channel is a huge, a very huge uh, HDRE or HDRI. So you know what I mean. And the HDRI bring me the uh, sky, yes, in the background. And also it brings me uh, light also, yes, and see it here, if I rotate a little bit the camera, yeah, that's a typical uh, day with some uh, clouds here in Germany. It's not really a sunny day, it's so half sunny, half not. So. And I have also in that scene this, uh, uh, this normal environment and uh, yes, I have here a sun for the main shadow. Yes, the sun here is only for the main shadow and that texture is that we have in the back a little bit uh, uh, clouds, yes. So, I, wait a sec, I search for the clouds that is a <coughs> HDR in the back and I manipulate in Octane a little bit uh, this uh, uh, map here yes, to bring it <coughs> in that uh, case I need for that scene. So, and if you uh, let it render a longer time and give enough, enough samples in the scene, now we have a small 50 samples in the scene, if you let render it a while, you will see more and more that all lights come in the, in the trees or in the plants, uh, in the leaves, and go out and do the same he do in the reality, yeah, in the real world. And that, uh, make, uh, in that version with a PT kernel, the rendering much longer, but it looks more real, yeah. Uh, if I change, uh, for example, the kernel to daylight, yes, I do it, wait a sec, I load the daylight kernel, and if I put the daylight kernel in, uh, not daylight environment, stupid German, <laughs> direct lighting, I, I mean the direct lighting kernel here, you see, that the light would not more transport it uh, from the leaf to the next leaf, yes? 
so I have a much faster render time, but the look is uh, not more uh, so physical correct and so so um, so good. Yes. So I change the pass tracing kernel. We go back to my pass tracing kernel. So reset the camera. So that's uh, all what I can say to that scene. It's, I hope uh, somebody have understand my English. <laughs> English. And yeah, that's in the end the reason that uh, the plant's looking near real. If, if you tweak sometimes more uh, with all that uh, uh, leaves, I think you can yeah, bring it some percent more to a real a real look yes and uh, you see here octane pure yes uh, it's not uh, it's without post so but if you render it out in in layers including the transmit light transmission you can tweak it uh, later in the third tool like uh, fusion or nuke or after effects or whatever uh, and can play with the layers and you can also render out the uh, extra layer for ambient occlusion or for uh, the clay gray and then mix all it in then you have uh, more uh, more control in that scene yes and can bring it uh, to a happy end with, with uh, good grading yeah so I think that's all what I can say the rest was uh, yes my it was science <laughs> yes I I see light wave as my little science tool and I play with it uh, as a scientist that's the reason that my virtual company has the name Neotech Laboratories but it's also an illusion it's only just for fun yes so you have seen now uh, a little bit more about the scene. John, uh, ich hoffe, du hast ein bisschen äh, was verstanden von dem, was ich gesagt habe. Äh, diese Light Transmission Maps sind wirklich, machen enorm was aus. Wenn ihr dem genug Rechenzeit gibt, dann äh, macht es richtig Spaß, sich das Ergebnis dann anzuschauen. Insbesondere bei Kamerafahrten, wenn du close up mit der Kamera an den Blättern vorbeigehst und richtig siehst, wie das Licht da durchschmeißt. So, now in English. Uh, it's very funny to see if the camera moves close up uh, for example on uh, leaves and you can see uh, the light go in and out from the leaves with my transmission map node yes